In this video, we will explain how to sketch the graph of a solution of this differential equation. Maybe it's a good idea to remember that if you have a function like sine of 4t, then we call this 4 is the angular frequency. And the period of that function is 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. In general, if we have y equal to sine of omega t or cosine of omega t, omega is the angular frequency and the period is 2 pi over omega. Okay, then uh, when we have this situation, we notice that the solution of the homogeneous, which is the one that comes from solving this quadratic equation, that means that lambda is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 9, that means that lambda is plus or minus 3i, then the, the, the solution of the homogeneous is something like C1, cosine of 3t plus c2 sine of 3t. Then the solution of the homogeneous are given by functions with angular frequency equal 3. You don't have to do the whole process. You just take the square root of this. If the differential equation has this form plus something squared that something is the angular frequency of the solution of the homogeneous and we will call that the natural angular frequency. Then we compute the natural angular frequency. Natural angular frequency. We call it equal to, in this case is 3, because it's the square root of 9. And we compute, this is the external force, or this is the non-homogeneous part, and it comes with a frequency, let's say, forcing frequency, let's call it forcing frequency, forcing angular frequency, we call it equal to. Then, in general, you don't need this part. And given this differential equation, we defined, we can right away get the natural angular, angular frequency and the forcing frequency. Then, with these two frequencies, we compute two other frequencies. Let's call it omega one, which is the average of the two. Three plus two over two, which is phi over two. And uh, we compute the other, which is the difference, the biggest minus the smallest divided by two. In this case, three minus two divided by two, and this is one half. And then we continue by computing the periods associated with these two frequencies. So remember the period, let's call period one, is two pi over pi half, which is four pi over five. And in the same way here, the period associated with this angular frequency is two pi over one half, which is four pi. Then, one of these periods is bigger than the other. The period, this period which is bigger than the other, is going to, we're going to call it the period of the bits. And this other period, we're going to call it the period of the rapid oscillation. Then we have two periods. Then in order to sketch the solution of this differential equation, what we do is we first draw something that looks like the sine function, but with this period. Here we do four pi. And then here is half of two, half of the period. And then we divide that. We do something that looks like a sine, but we do a dash. We do a dash graph like this. 
and then we do it like this. We do the sine function and the negative sine function. So we're going to call this the bits. And then uh, what we do next is we divide this line into intervals with length 4 pi, 4 pi over 5. 4 pi over 5, let's see, this is like, we need to divide this in 5 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 4 pi over 5. And this is, this period is the period of a rapid oscillation. Then what we need to do is we need to, in each one of these pieces, we need to feed a sine function. Remember that a sine function goes up, it goes through the middle of the period, and it goes down and it goes back to that point. Then, uh, but then that sine function is going to be restricted to be between the bits. Then what we get, this is half, we have to go through this point, we will go up, we stay within the bits, we go through the center, we go as far as the bits allow us to go, and then we go to the period. Okay, this is the period of the rapid oscillation, and we call this a rapid oscillation. Then this is another period of the rapid oscillation. We divide in two, we go up, down, and then back. Here, in this case, there is a big coincidence that this goes right through the middle. And for that reason, uh, you have to go through there. But in this case, since this is a zero of multiplicity two, you will have to go up, you stay within the bits. And here you will go like a, maybe like a little parabola. You go up again and then, yeah. Then here you go down through the middle, up, this is another rapid oscillation. And here you have to go through this point in this in the middle. Notice that in this case we have one rapid oscillation, another rapid oscillation. This rapid oscillation gets got something kind of strange because you you were forced to go through the middle. And this is another rapid oscillation and another rapid oscillation. Then this is the sketch of the solution of this differential equation. And this is near resonance. The reason it's called near resonance is because the Na natural angular frequency, which is 3, is relatively close to the forcing angular frequency. Okay, this is it for this video.